you all know that Indian Army and several state polices in India serve two separate functions. But do you know that an organization present in India serves both the function of the Indian Army and police forces? That is none other than the Central Armed Police Force. To know about this special organization, watch this video fully. First, a question. Police and public order are placed under which list in the Schedule 7 of the Constitution? I hope you all have guessed it right. Police and public order are placed under the state list. However, the Union Ministry of Home Affairs assists state government by providing them support of the Central Armed Police Forces. Here, the Central Armed Police Forces include Assam Rifles, Border Security Force, Central Industrial Security Force, Central Reserve Police Force, Indo-Tibetan Border Police, National Security Guard and finally Sahastra Seema Ball. All of them have their own primary roles. And apart from that, all CAPFs are involved in assisting police in law and order situations and also army in counter-terrorist operations. Now, let us see a few points about each force. First, let us take Assam Rifles. See, the Assam Rifles came into being in 1835 itself. It was initially raised as a militia and was called as Chachar Levy. This was formed initially to protect British tea estates and the British settlements against Northeast tribal rights. Right now, the Assam Rifles is tasked with the maintenance of law and order in the Northeast along with the Indian Army and it also guards the Indo Myanmar border. One unique feature of Assam Rifles is that it is the only paramilitary force with a dual control structure. While the administrative control of the force is with the Ministry of Home Affairs, its operational control is with the Indian Army, which is under the Ministry of Defence. Moving on to the Border Security Force. The BSF is considered as the first line of defence for the Indian territories. It was raised in 1965 after the Indo-Pakistan War. Right now, it is deployed on the Indo-Pakistan border and also along the Indo-Bangladeshi border. Here note that the BSF has an Air Wing, Marine Wing, Artillery Regiment and also Commando Units. Then there is ITBP which is nothing but Indo-Tibetan Border Force. See, it was raised in the year 1962 after the Indo-China War. Right now, it is deployed along the Indian-China border. ITBP is a specialized mountain force as it covers the rugged terrain along the India-China border. Now, let us take the Sastra Seema Ball. It was raised in the year 1963. This unit is deployed along Indo-Nepal and Indo-Bhutan borders. These four that we just saw now are the border guarding forces of the CAPF. These CISF and CRPF are the forces dedicated to internal security. Now let us see briefly about Central Industrial Security Force, which is also known as CISF. It came into existence in the year 1969. This force was raised to provide integrated security cover to the public sector undertakings. Right now, CISF provides security cover to critical infrastructure installations like the nuclear power plants, space establishments, airports, seaports, power plants, sensitive government buildings and even heritage monuments. The CISF also provides security cover to the Delhi Metro. Now finally coming to CRPF. See, it was initially called as Crown's Representative Police. After the CRPF Act of 1949, it took up the name CRPF. The Central Reserve Police Force aids the government in maintaining rule of law, public order, internal security and national integrity. Finally, coming to the elite force which is called as National Security Guard. See, NSG is a special task force of the CAPF. It is a specialized counter-terrorism unit raised in the year 1984. It is raised to tackle all facets of terrorism inside the borders of the country. These are all the seven central armed police force units present in India. Through this discussion, we have learned about CAPF and the seven organizations present under it. To watch more interesting contents like this, please subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy.